Welcome back to more Acolyte, ladies and gentlemen. We are on season one, episode four. And we last left off on a flashback episode, but I think for this one, we're going back to the present time. Headed to Kofar to go after Kelnaka. May has to try to kill him. Chimir might be joining along as well. Um, he's suspected by me at least to be probably the Sith Master or whoever is under the mask. He was dodging May's attacks in episode two. It just seemed likely. Um, I also think the last episode introduced Mother Coral, who birthed um, May and Osha. She's also very suspicious. I was calling it out in that episode. Like, honestly, Mother Anasea might have not even been the one that did the magic on uh, Torben and made his eyes go black. It might have been Coral in the group. I don't know. And then she could have staged that whole fire and everyone dying. Power of many. I don't know. They all died. They could have put their energy into Mayor Osha. Who knows, but there's some wacky stuff going on. But yeah, we're gonna meet Kalnaka finally this episode, a Wookiee Jedi, which is so sick. Unlike Gunji, who's a little youngling. This is a Jedi master, I'm pretty sure. And another character might be introduced this episode, which is named Basil, which has been in the promotional material and stuff. Little tiny dude. Don't really know exactly what he is, but excited to see him. But yeah, where we actually like, last left, left off with our main cast besides May and Chimera and them, Sol was being called back to the Jedi Temple to discuss their mission and what they should do next. Even though they know exactly where May's going and they can go and stop her, um, Jedi have this tendency to have to discuss everything in a council first. So that's where Sol's going back to Vernastra and the council. Probably gonna get a team together to actually go to Kofa. I think it's Kofar. Kofa sounds kind of weird. But yeah, that's where we're at. If you've been enjoying Acolyte on the channel as much as I have, I've been spouting about Acolyte on Twitter. So go follow me there if you want. I think it's been really good. I don't understand the hate. Most of it actually doesn't even make sense. You don't really need to understand the hate. But yeah, leave a like on the video if you've been enjoying Acolyte. Check out my Rebels and Bad Batch reactions. All my Clone Wars reactions are also on the channel. Subscribe. We're on the road to 20,000 subs this year. Let's hop into the Acolyte episode 4. Kofar, okay. Not Kofa. <laughs> a Wookiee in a Jedi robe. I just love to see it. What well, I feel like this episode's gonna end where that first trailer ended with all the Jedi about to rush in. I just really hope not. I don't wanna have to wait for next week for a big battle. <sighs> How does it not accidentally chop off his hair and get it in the food? Coruscant. Okay, you don't need to tell us. Rogue One told us everything. Oh my gosh, Jackie. Diminished Who is this? Of vulnerability. Maximize your defenses without need to strike. I like seeing this. Lunchtime. Jackie, best You're character. Not staying? I've done what I needed Please, to do. Please, nothing happened to her. Thank you. For what? For helping me find my sister. Prove my innocence, clear my name. You mourn the years lost between the two of you. Someone must find me before she does any more harm. But it's not me. I feel like she could get to her and stop her, though. Next time I'm on Coruscant, though, I'll look you up. And we'll go to a cantina and trade stories about Master Soul. Did you say goodbye to him? I've caused him enough trouble. Huh. Not saying goodbye. Pretty messed up, Osha. I didn't oh, notice May's hair is so long. Yes, I have. Compared to Osha's. I don't think... Osha's just had short hair, right? I don't know. It was hard. That looks scary. <laughs> you went in there and risked your life for my master? No, I risked my life to help you. He's gotta be the master. I hope there's a twist and he's not, but it all signs are pointing to Chimir, or maybe Korhil. You need to kill the Wookiee. You made a deal. There it is. The planet's aligning. Hey, they got a peanut head here. Kiadi Mundi or whatever. She doesn't know her master. But that's not actually him. They don't live that long, right? 
an apprentice who doesn't know their master. It's absurd. Could this be a splinter order? She killed two Jedi masters. Mm hmm Yes. But May targeted these three. Four. Including you, Sol. The four Jedi stationed on her home planet when she was a Yeah, child. she tried to kill Sol without a weapon. How odd. She turns up all these years later, trained by one of our own. Bernestra's on to them. I don't think she knows the cover-up. We should handle this ourselves. We must learn who trained her. You know, the white and yellow, the, or white and gold, whatever, it's so clean. Why didn't you tell me about this? I did, as soon as I knew. No, so, 16 years ago, why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? If I thought there was, of course I would have. He really didn't know. I don't, I think Soul's kind of in, innocent. No one could have survived that. He ran into that room and said May and, he screamed May and Osha. He was looking out for both them. May's objective is not solely her own. You must know that. Mm hmm I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. Some sort of shift. Something uh -huh. to tip the scales. She will not surrender without getting something in return. Do we have something she wants? Her sister? I don't know. How do you kill a Jedi without a weapon? It has to be some sort of test, right? Yeah. Engage unarmed, but can you use their saber if you disarm them? Or is that cheating? <laughs> I'm just curious how you're going to do it this time. You, you failed so much. I didn't fail. <laughs> you failed so much. Torben killed himself. Without a weapon. How are you going to kill a Wookiee Jedi without a weapon? <laughs> Honestly, she seemed really fond of that one Jedi master. What was his name again? Soul? He knows this stuff. Weird vibes, Chimere. There's a lot of transitions in this one. Service. Kind of fast paced. Like There's some sick aliens in the background of this show. So, huh? It's like a little panda bear. You and Jackie said you already left. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye. I need your help. I need you to come with me on this mission. Yes. You want me to rejoin the Jedi? Well. Not official. Um. Does she want to rejoin? That made it seem like she did. When I told May you were alive, her eyes softened. Mm -hmm. She became a different person. I don't want May to get hurt. I know you don't either. There is still good in her. The part of her that loves you. <laughs> he sees good in so many people. She's a murderer. Fine. I am not wearing that civilian robe. Okay. The order station. <laughs> what is she wearing? <laughs> is that the civilian robe? Transmissions. Yo, is that is that Plo Koon? <laughs> I don't know. How long do they live? Oh, we're already getting a little basil. Oh, he looks great. Pip squirts water too. Pip's a squirter. Basil. Basil. Is that because you're British? Are you saying it that way, or can I call him Basil? Any questions, civilian? No. No. Very comprehensive briefing, Yord. <laughs> Yord's so serious. Wait till they make Yord laugh. It'll happen. Unless they all die this episode. Huh? But why is Basil here? We're looking for a Wookiee. He's Oh my Big gosh. Harry. They're translating. So many Jedi. These guys are kind of scary. He ventured off into the forest and never came back. That guy looks like Shia LaBeouf over there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing out all this background stuff. How do we find him? We have a tracker. Ah, oh, that's why. He's like a little dog. His name is Basil, and yes, 
Although most Dumbass. people in Shuriwok, I took it upon myself to learn a language a little more nuanced. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if you're upset, I'm on this mission. Join the club. I'm not upset. I am concerned for your safety. Your so does he not know Shuriwok or whatever? Is Yordi going to be the only one that can't talk to Kelnaka? May has always been your wound. Maybe so brought you here to face her. But maybe he brought you here to face yourself. Maybe he didn't learn it because he knew he would kill Kalnaka one day. Maybe Yord's the master. I feel like it's going to be so scary when they run into him. What are those? Those look like big eggs. Oh, th no, they're just plants. No, oh, Basil's so cute. What is it? <laughs> he says there's something wrong here. Something rotten. Uh, Keep up the pace. Keep down the volume. Those spider eggs? I'm scared. We don't know. And we don't want to know what lives out here. Mm hmm. This is like venturing into Kong Skull Island right now. Why did I say Kong Skull Island in the movie? There's just Skull Island. There's life in those. Oh, they're like roly polies on the side. Roaches. Oh, they're not sacks. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's like from the Ewok oh. movie. Oh. Stand down. They're everywhere. First time Souls draw on a saber. He's an exterminator. It's attracted to light. Is it attracted to light or did it go for him? I mean, okay. That observation happened really quick. Attracted to light. That means if it gets nighttime and they start lighting their sabers, we're going to be having a pest problem. Well, I could never accept death as a true Jedi should. A true Jedi. I couldn't accept what I'd lost. How unfair it felt. The resentment that I felt for my sister, even though I, I missed her at the same time. We're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by what we survive. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I have to fight a Wookiee after this trek. I'd like to rest for a minute, if that's all right with you. It's not, but okay. See, afraid of the bugs here? It's not a test. It's a time trial. He calls it the final lesson. Your final lesson is when you teach yourself. You will kill a Jedi without a weapon. Attacking a defenseless person goes against everything the Jedi stands for. How do you kill someone like that? Unarmed. It's not impossible. You know that. Because if you show yourself as not a threat and they're still attacking you, that's what makes it a strong moral argument to, to fight against them. Because then the Jedi are breaking their own code. You've broken the Jedi. What are you doing? She's getting on a rope. She's gonna climb, get the high ground, maybe set a trap. I swear we need a tracker just to track our tracker. So! Not a bad idea. Oh, that's May screaming, not Basil. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> oh. It worked. But you've just attracted all the other Jedi. You know, after running through that forest for an extremely long time, I realized something. We're wrong. Osha being alive changes everything. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. What, what are you doing? What I'm okay. going to do is surrender myself to Kelnaka. Big change of heart. I mean, she f seemed really changed seeing Osha. He's the master. He's getting out of this. There's no shot. There's no shot. This all goes... Perfectly the plan. Look at all these Jedi here. They're all gonna die. There's so many what? extras. <laughs> They're just gonna die. <clears throat> but I'm ready now. What's he freaking out about? This is different. I feel different. I sense things again in a way that gives me the courage to face her. You're not going to face her. You're going to face your past. Why? You made it all this way without tripping. Did she trip on Basil? Hey, 
Anybody? That's loud. <laughs> oh shoot. Don't breathe in those spores, Basil. Is he No. No, we didn't get I mean I know we're gonna get a flashback with Kanako. We've seen it in trailers. Is he dead? There ain't no way we didn't get to see him in this time period. <gasps> he he's just dead. Yeah, so the master's here. He's got big lips, dang. It's Chimere. Was it just obvious from episode two? No, I really wanted to see Kanaka. I know we'll get flashbacks of him, but still. In the name of the Galactic Republic and the Order of the Jedi. We knew Jedi were gonna die, but I wanted to see him do a big fight here. You wanted to turn yourself in anyways, turn yourself in right now. In front of the master though, is that what Soul was feeling? Chills? <laughs> a coldness? <gasps> Oh, he's floating down back there. Oh. Wait, that's actually really sick. <laughs> they just floated down like that. I mean, I hope it's not Chimera, but you know. <laughs> what a present. <laughs> Smile. Now they make, they're making us think it's Chimera. They gotta have a twist. We won't know. I see a yellow eye under the mask. That's cool. Is it coral? Oh, shoot. Don't I just end. Don't just end. Oh. That head twist. No. I said it. I said they would end there. Oh, my gosh. I said they'd end there. Why can't you release two this week? I'm so used to House of the Dragon and the boys right now dropping hour-long episodes. That was too predictable that they would end it right there. But I know next week we're going to get such an insane episode. That's going to disappoint some people. That ending. They could have had a longer episode here. Oh, but that float down and everything. I really like that. This is going to be a really like binge worthy show. It's just when you have to wait a week. And I like waiting a week for episodes. I hate when everything's released all at once. But if they like always have a cliffhanger... Like in their ending just when the action's starting or something. That's a little weird. I don't like that as much. This episode was called a day. Huh. Day. Man. I do just kind of want to rewatch that. Float down. That was scary. They were like a ghost. That yellow eye though. That you can just see the little sliver of under the mask. I love that. It looks like the smile of the mask too is like. It looks like it's made out of lightsabers for some reason, <laughs> like just twisted up metal from lightsabers. I don't know why. Man, we gotta wait a week. Oh. Well, I'm disappointed in that runtime and that we didn't even get to see Kelnaka try to fight this Sith at all. But you know what? Maybe it'll make sense at the end of, of the show. Maybe we will get to see that. We'll definitely get to see Kelnaka in flashbacks at least. So that's fine with me. Okay, so I, I talked a lot during the episode, uh, of course, but I'm going to restate my, my things here in the discussion. I'm really hoping the master is a big twist in some way. They would, of course, I feel like want it to be a character that we know, whether that's Chimere or Coral. If it was Coral, that'd be more of a twist to me than it being Chimere. I feel like Chimere is just too obvious from episode two. But then again, what is Chimere's place if he's not the master? Why would the master be keeping this guy around, you know? And if it's Coral, what are the extent of her abilities as a witch, you know? She knows the dark side very well, but she wasn't the one. Anasea was the one who actually created the twins. So, if anything, Anasea would be more powerful. But we saw her dead. We did not see Coral's body at all. So we don't know the extent of her abilities. But man, I love seeing a Jedi float. I think that is sick. Ever since the old 2005 Battlefront 2 game where you could play as Darth Vader, you could play as all the Jedi, and you would hold your jump button and just slowly descend. I love that. Jedi, Sith, floating, I think is really cool. And you rarely ever get to see that in anything Star Wars. They just don't do it. It's only from like games for the most part. So that was cool. This episode definitely could have been a little longer, even if it had the same endpoint. Um, 
there was like I was pointing out during the episode, there was a lot of transitions happening. It would do like the fade out, the fade in, the swipe, the swipe. It was like two minute scenes or sometimes one minute scenes and then another swipe transition. So they were going really fast paced about it, but there was no point of going that fast because you don't get to the get to the action anyways. So I feel like that could have been slightly tuned here, but I also didn't feel like any scene here was wasn't needed. Um, they all flowed pretty well. So there was nothing just shoved in this episode just for it to be there and then swipe away. I am wondering if that one guy is Plo Koon though. There, there was, we saw him in one of the trailers and people were theorizing that they do, they could live that long if they're a Jedi. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see if he uh, dies in the next episode. I'm pretty sure a lot of these characters are going to die next episode. Uh, maybe not any of the main ones, but everyone that they brought, brought on the journey just seems right. And I have heard from the creators of this, they, they've said episode five is one of the best. So excited for that. I wonder what the design choices are for that helmet and everything, not from the creating this, this Star Wars show standpoint, but from the person that's wearing the mask, you know, if it is Chimere, why did he choose, uh, like if it's Chimere, I can explain it because he has a very high pitched voice. So Chimere would probably want to sound more menacing and he gave himself that deep voice in the mask and then he gave himself this scary grin or whatever. You know, it would make sense for his character, but if it's anyone else, um, I would wonder why they chose a mask like that. And we just haven't really seen anything like that before. We've seen like Kylo Ren, but not something that's like supposed to be like scary or like haunting, you know, even the way they like turn their head, they like flicked Osha to the side and then just like turn their head in like a creepy way. Like, what are they doing? I don't know. I didn't know who's under that mask and what they're thinking. Man, everything after this episode, once they have just now encountered the sith or whoever this is everything changes for the jedi order I, I wasn't thinking about this in the episode i was like why doesn't she just turn herself in but she is being pretty smart right here she doesn't know that that's Kymir under the mask if it is him right it might not be but if it is that's gonna be funny uh so she's thinking that after that sith goes out and kills all those jedi she could just come out and be like oh i'm still on your side Sith Lord or whatever. If it's Chimere under the mask, he'll know. I mean, she just like said that she was going to turn herself in and not do this mission anymore, not listen to the master. But if it's not, they might not know. Pretty interesting. And May could still go through with her mission with the master. Although the master did just go in and kill Kanaka for some reason. So it's, it probably has to be Chimere or else there'd be no point of that happening. Yeah, interesting choice to make May's mission from the past two episodes. Well, episode one and two, like just not be a thing anymore. It is weird, but I, I could see why seeing Osha changes her. It feels like a much bigger deal, her mission stopping because we've been watching in a weekly order. We've had to wait weeks in between. But if you really are just binging the show, it's not that big of a change you know i did want to see may eventually go up against kalnaka and soul so i am a little disappointed in that she just stopped she's just not gonna do it anymore i mean the master might win this fight here probably will and uh may might rejoin him or her which would be the best outcome i feel like for the show i really want to see that because if she's not the acolyte anymore on episode four here if she stops being the acolyte if she ever even was you know I mean, yeah, the master literally called her the acolyte, so. But who knows, maybe this master is the acolyte and there's an even darker Sith master above him. Anything's possible in this show. Really enjoyed the beginning of this episode, seeing Jackie Train, all those Padawans, and seeing the Jedi have their own meeting. Uh, Vernestra seemed to be on to them a little bit, but it even made, like, it made me feel more innocence for Soul as well. Like, he really didn't know what was going on. He didn't know May survived or could have survived or any of that he might be innocent <laughs> completely <laughs> completely innocent but he should also know better like the fire that may started couldn't have done all that so i would think he's stupid if he didn't think that maybe he was just too afraid to question his other jedi he even asked the question like why would torben kill himself like he just seems innocent but who knows Anyways, really excited for the next one. I think that's going to be one of the best ones so far. Probably the best one so far. But yeah, I've been enjoying the journey along the way. I just wish we got a little more here and it didn't just abruptly end.
but I'll keep talking about this on Twitter, so you guys can follow me there. It's socials are down below. And yeah, go check out Rebels, Bad Batch, anything else on the channel. And that's it for now. I gotta edit this for you guys. I will see you guys in the next one.